Okay, let's select it. Done. Live paint. Make. Now, I did give you the goldfish palette, so these should be ready to go. So just file place and then use your magic wand or take that back, your, your eyedropper. And all we're doing is our flat color to start with. Flat, flat, flat. Actually, I think this one was orange, orange. That's orange. That's brown. That guy's black. Okay, looks good. Come back, expand, hit OK. Next thing we want to do is we are going to select everything, ungroup. Just keep clicking ungroup until it is actually ungroup. Usually three is the magic number. Nope, not today. There we go. Okay, so with this, this is going to be our flat color. What I'm then going to do is duplicate flat color. Lock that guy out. This is going to be our tints and shades. So let's zoom in. And this is where we're going to start having some fun. So I'm going to use my knife tool. And this is just, hey, where do I think... some different values would go. Now whenever I'm using my little knife tool, first thing I'm going to do is select the object, come back over, and I want to go all the way through it. And so this is what we're able to do. Now I can come back and just change up that color. So I should have some other ones where I can come in and just switch up the color a little bit. What else did I get? Let's do the, the let's do this guy. Knife. And I just want a nice smooth. And I'm gonna f go right through that middle just so I hopefully get it. Now these will look a little bit extreme for right now. These will all soften out after we put our gradients on. Okay, let's select the whites. Let's come in. Come in. Be subtle with that one. Now I missed this little guy. I'm going to just come back with the blob brush. And hopefully I can just fill that in and everyone's a happy camper. Oh, too easy. Okay. I say flat color is good. Okay, I like it. Now that's our flat color. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to duplicate out flat color again and drag that right above it. So I'm going to double click that and this is going to be our gradient later. So I'll lock out the other two. And the reason why we have that is so we don't have to worry. It's just going to be a big gradient all the way across. Okay, so I think this first one is going to be a linear one. And I think we had 
goldfish color and then orange on this orange let's start with 50 and see what that eh, I want to even lower nope I still say 50 okay that looks pretty good I'm gonna come back over now I'm gonna click on my gradient Just bring that up. That looks good. And actually, I say you can even go yellow with that. Let's go 50. Okay, looks good. Let's select the eyeballs. This is going to be a, a radial one. Let's select white for the insides. And then nice little light blue. say a hundred all right click and this is where we can move it up we're gonna want to drag these down keep in mind you can always kind of slide these out so if I want more white and less blue, I can just modify this a little bit. Or if it's getting too blue, I could always come back in and just change the opacity of it too. So things I'm looking for, I'm looking for it to still be white. So I want that highlight to still look white. I want it to kind of fade through blue, not be super obvious. And then I still want to be able to see my little cast shadow type lines in there too. All right. I'm just seeing if there's any other little, little things. The only thing I can tell is we miss that guy. But let's do... The next two, uh, oh, we missed a couple. Let's go back. Oh, take that back. I think we have flat color. Let's give it a nice little squiggly. Okay, good. Click. So on this one, I want it to be linear. And then our dark brown. Click our gradient tool. Make sure the brown is up at the top. And there is, I think I do have a darker one in there too. I don't know if I'm as big of a fan of it. Good. 
click. I want the same one. Click. We'll just flip that around. This one I just want to be a little more subtle. Okay, that actually worked out quite nice. Good, good, good. Let's select these guys. These are going to be radial. Okay, that looks pretty good. I changed that one to 70. Okay, I think we just need to do our little mouth highlight. So I'm going to come back to the pen tool. Click, click, drag. And I think this one's going to go right along the lip here. And this one's actually right in the middle of the eye. You're going to be able to see it. So this line you'll be able to see. And no, it's not going to be blue. All right. So that one's going to be linear. So that one will be white. And I think we'll do right around... 80, 90 to start off with. And this back color, fish color. And I also want to drop that down to zero. So that's going to go white, and then it's going to basically fade out. And that's what we're looking for. Okay. I don't know what that is, so let's get rid of it. Let's select it, gradient tool. And this is just playing around with angle and how much do you want it to be shown or how obvious I guess it should stay with the eh, that's not what we want Okay, let's select off this little line. That's okay. That looks good. Keep in mind, if I ever needed to modify the lines, I can always come in with my direct selection tool. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, pen tool. I'm going to click through here. Click all the way over here. Alt. This one I'm going to come right through, right under the lip. See if we can get it in one big one. And I might even add, add one right here. And the idea on keeping it right through this is I can almost make it look like a lip so I can kind of get some extra little features in there. 
keep in mind you can always just if you like a flat color you could always stop there too so for this one I instead of doing the white I'm gonna do the dark one So I'm going to stay 80%. I think that one's still fish color. Looks good. Click on our gradient. And all I'm really doing is, how dark do I want it? How I, so the more I do this, the more obvious it is. The more I kind of have it in the middle, the more subtle it can be. And again, I do want, one, I want you to be able to see it, but I don't want it to be crazy obvious. Ah, eh, we could probably go a little more. I'll do one little last thing before we call it a day here. All right, I say that's pretty good. So last little bit is back to this flat color layer. What I might do is just use our magic wand tool. Come back in, grab all my black, copy. Let's just lock out all these guys. And then let's just paste in front. What's in that one? Just seeing anything else. Mostly we're pretty good. So a lot of this would just be like fine tuning. How obvious do I want things? So if I'm looking at the gradients, keep in mind I can always come back through, I can always mess them. So if I want them to be more obvious, less obvious, I can always come in and mess around with those. Okay, I think we're good. So at this point, I would save, save, save. Next little thing I would do is you can just grab all of it. So if you were bringing this over, just unlock the things. Anything you're bringing over to your shark, you would just select all those and then basically just bring them right on over into your shark layer. So if I said file open recent, and there's our shark. At least it should be, and then I just plopped it right on in. So there's our cute little guy. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed our little fish demo. Uh, if you are bringing it over, hopefully you guys had some fun with the shark as well as the little scaredy cat uh, or the scaredy goldfish. And uh, if you guys are liking these videos, make sure you guys are subscribing. That keeps me aware that you guys like them and you do want me to keep posting those for non-classroom students uh, that just makes it public for everybody else so you guys can be following along either at home or in your classrooms so thanks for spending time with us and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video